Blessed be my witches, my spiritualist, and welcome to another episode of Witch Please. It is I, Odin the Seer. And today, we are going to be making my Get Yo Ass Back Here oil. Now, this oil I have used for a very long time, and it is very powerful when it comes to bringing that person back. Now, the reason why this is powerful are for a couple of things, a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is that it is it works from a foundational perspective and it also brings in a new lease on something that may have disintegrated in the past. Now, before we get to that, I just wanted to to comment on something. I've been getting a lot of comments lately with people being like, "Odin, you looking good." What you been doing? Looks like you took out some weight. Yes, thank you for noticing, Witch Please family. I have taken off a tremendous amount of weight. I've been on this, this diet now for six months, and I have taken off 70, 80 pounds, actually. It's been a wonderful trip, and I really enjoy it. And how I did it was a combination of a few things. One was eating, of course, you have to put it in your due diligence, but the other part was I was doing some self-discipline baths as well as I did my tallow rendering fat loss ritual and spell. So if there is anybody that wants to know what I used to be able to create the correct environment to allow me to keep my willpower, allow fat to come off quickly, um, and to be able to eat healthier and feel comfortable with that eating healthy, just leave some comments below and I will make videos about the whole process to assist people with their weight loss goals. So as I was saying, there are some fundamental variables in this oil that really assist with bringing a lover back. You see, there was conflict to begin with, and that's the reason why you lost your lover. Something probably came in, there was an uncomfortability, there was a lack of communication, there was expectation, there was any of these, there was probably a multitude of these variables that really hindered or created the platform for this parting of ways. So I love this oil because it really does focus on allowing you to be able to address the issues that caused the conflict and the separation to begin with but it also brings a magnetic force into it that allows for there to be this coming back together. Now, I will be doing a video on how to do a spell for that, a reversal spell, a reversal candle spell, to be able to bring back that lover that you lost. But for you to be able to do that, you are going to need to know how to make this oil first. <laughs> so that's why this one is coming out first. All right, so what are you going to need? Well, you are going to need a base oil of sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil has long been associated with love and relationships and passion and being a nut. It's very, very powerful in regards to bringing in that spark, that spark that possibly was lost before, right? So we want to use this as the base to our oil here. We want to bring in that fresh new spark, okay? We want to be able to see things grow and come to fruition in a very positive and loving way. And that's why we are going to start off with the sweet almond oil. The next thing you're going to be needing is vetiver. Vetiver root is very, very powerful when it comes to foundations and solidifying. It has also long been associated with love, deep love, deep connection, deep fundamental understanding. And that is very, very, very powerful when it comes to building any strong relationship. Okay, 
Very, very, very powerful. And that's what you want to do. You want to have that strong foundations. You want to be able to have that comfortability, which is another wonderful aspect of vetiver. And you really want to have that synthesis of both people coming together on an equal playing field and allowing them to feel at home, comfortable, and safe in that relationship. Patchouli is a wonderful, patchouli leaf is a wonderful way of bringing in the highest self. Okay? It brings in the highest self and allows for you to be able to have almost a remembrance of the unity and the connection. We are all one. So I like to bring in that patchouli. And from a pheromonal aspect as well, patchouli is very, very good when it comes to bringing um, men, to, uh, women to men, to bring them to you. So I like to bring this into it as well. So you have that heightened sense of understanding, in, of understanding of connection, as well as that pheromonal aspect of drawing somebody to you, okay? The next one we're going to be using is rose. Rose is a beautiful botanical and it's long been associated with love as well as patchouli has been, but it's long been associated with love and it is the most perfect botanical. It is the equivalent of gold, okay, but in um, botanical form, in plant form. So this is a very powerful way of being able to bring in that vibration of perfection. Now this does not mean that that person is going to be perfect for you or you're going to be perfect for that person. We're talking about an energetic perfection here that allows for you to be able to make decisions on a higher level that are more conducive to where you want to be in that relationship. Now that is very, very powerful when you bring that into the equation. The other reason why I like to use rose is because rose is great for the female aspect as well. Rose has a tendency to draw in men to women, that scent of, of beautiful fragrance and that lusciousness of rose that brings a man to a woman so as you can see this oil can be used for both male or female this is just a get your ass back here oil all right so we're going to be putting that in as well clove we are going to be putting clove in here because clove has a tendency to be able to spice and heat things up but Clove also has a very strong association with asserting a dominance in the situation. Now, I'm not talking about a dominance by way of one party controlling the other party. This is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about here is a dominance that you are in control of the situation, not the person, the situation. So now you can clearly and concisely make decisions in your relationship and the other person as well without allowing emotions, anger, frustration, all of these other variables get in the driver's seat of your relationship. You can hold yourself back, you can scan back, you can be in control, you can survey what's in front of you, what the potential risks are, and then make the appropriate choices and take the appropriate actions towards allowing you and this other person to be able to start fresh. Myrrh. We are going to be using myrrh because myrrh helps with a deepest self-understanding and a verbalization of what you truly are feeling. And I love that aspect of myrrh because it really does allow for you to be able to speak your truth, but also in one of the most loving, most compassionate, and most powerful ways. Remember, in the beginning there was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Words have power, darlings. Right? And a lot of the times we get so caught up, but with the clove assisting you to be able to stand back and not just say what you are angrily feeling at that point in time, this allows you to be able to stand back, search with inside yourself, and be able to vocalize the words that you truly mean. 
there is a song from Nicki Minaj where she said, I'm, we're fighting, fussing and fighting, but I'm actually fronting. I'm telling you something or I'm asking you something. That's so powerful. How many times are we afraid to say, listen, you, 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 made, you hurt my feelings. I really do love you or all of these other things or I feel jealous or I feel scared or these, that or the other. We don't do that. What we do is we big up our chest and we start yelling and screaming and calling, everything but the, calling the person everything but the child of God. That's not what you want to be doing. You want to be able to speak your truth in a disarming way rather than speaking your truth in a way that's going to cause conflict. Okay, I also wanted to let you know this is your basic, okay? This is your basic get your ass back here oil. I want to make it clear here. If you have someone who is stubborn, Okay, and ego and pride is getting in the way. You just substitute, or if they're not so much egotistical and prideful or whatnot, but there's many there's other variables. What I would recommend is if they're really egotistical and really, you know, they just fundamentally stubborn in that way, you want to go with something that is more of a castor oil. Okay, because the castor oil also has that. Um, medicinal effect and it also has that domination effect as well. So you want to put a little bit more emphasis on that. If um, it's just a standard one, you're going to use, as I said, the sweet almond oil. And if it's just, you know, people are in film, someone's in their ear telling them a whole bunch of so on and so forth and whatnot, trying to keep you guys apart, there's another person involved, all of this stuff. You'd want to do a mixture of 50% sweet almond and 50% castor, okay? That will be able to help alleviate some of those concerns. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go into our myrrh here, and we are going to take five pieces of myrrh, okay? So five is going to be able to bring in the manifestation of our desired outcome, okay? So we take our myrrh here, and we're going to say a little prayer over it, and we're going to place it into our master bottle. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to place in all five of these myrrh chunks. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to put in the vetiver. Now we are going to be using... 20 drops of the vetiver. And we are going to now bless this first step, well, the second step of this magical get your back here oil. So now we are going to go and we're going to put our patchouli in. And we're also going to be putting in 20 drops of the patchouli. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to bless this patchouli addition. Alright, so now we're going to be putting in our rose. <clears throat> now this is a rose dilute, y'all. So what you're going to be putting, what you're going to be doing with this is you are going to be putting in 30 drops of the rose dilute, or you can even put in a 30 five drops of the rose dilute if you would like, but I'm putting in 30 here. All right, so last but not least, we are going to be putting in the last part of that, and this is our clove oil, okay? So there are different types of clove oils you can get. You can get clove leaf oil, or you can get clove oil in and of itself. You want, you can use both. Okay, I find that if you actually have the clove leaf oil, sorry, if you have the clove oil itself, the clove bud oil, that is actually, I find it works a little bit better, but the clove leaf oil works really, really well. So don't worry about it, you can use both. If it's the clove bud, 20 drops. If it's the clove leaf, you want to put in 30, okay? So let's just get this started here. All right, so this has filled up half the bottle, so you can see how potent this actually is, or how dense it is with the actual essential oils, okay? So we're just going to do our prayer over this, and then we're going to add in our final part. 
So now what we're going to do is we are going to add in our last part here, and we're just going to top off this with our sweet almond oil. We are going to give it a little shake, and we are going to bless the final product. All right, my witches, my spiritualists, and that is your, that is your get your ass back here oil. Now, this is so very easy to use. You can anoint anything with it. I have anointed myself with it. Now, I do not have allergies to very much things, very many things, so I can do this. If you have allergies to things, dog, don't do it, okay? Don't do it. It's just, it's not worth it. What you can do is you can anoint candles, wear your gloves, anoint some candles with it, anoint pictures of yourself with it. Veves are really, really good to, to use. Um, you can also do Solomon seals are great to anoint with this. Um, anything that you write in Theban, um, sigils are really good to do. So there's so many variables that you can actually use. If you're going by the person's house, put a little bit on, again, if you're not allergic to it, put a little bit on your finger and you can rub it right into the ground in front of their door. Make sure they're not there because you don't really want them to really know that you're there doing that type of work. Um, you can also anoint, uh, you can also anoint, uh, call me and put it under your cell phone, or put it in the back of your cell phone in the casing. Again, you are only limited to your own thoughts, okay? And as I said, I'm going to be showing you how to do a reversal candle in the next episode, and I use this in that. All right, my witches, that is our episode for today. If you have not pressed subscribe, you know you need to press subscribe. Join the Witch Please family and do not miss out on a thing. You can follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, as well as Facebook. You can always send me a personal email at witchpleaseofficial at gmail.com or you can leave a comment below. Remember guys, if you wanna know how to do the willpower bath, just leave a comment below. Tell me that you want to learn how to do that. If you want to know how to do the tallow rendering fat loss ritual, let me know so I can get that out for you. Also, don't forget to press that bell icon so you're notified when a new video comes out because you do not want to miss a thing. If you guys are interested in supporting me and getting more content out and all of these things, please remember to subscribe to our Patreon account. You can see my content. You can see my rituals. You can see the incantations and invocations that I, that I use. And it's all for less than a Starbucks coffee for a month of, of membership. I've said it before, my witches, my spiritualists, and I will say it again. It is a pleasure to have you in my world. It is an honor to have you in my magic. And you are always in my heart. I will see you again on another episode of Witch. Please. <laughs> I love you, boo-boos. Bye-bye.